Halloween, a day of ghosts and goblin, kids dressed up like Batman and Robin, haunted houses and the boogeyman, scary parties and the groovy ghoulie band. Yeah, I remember those days as a youth. My brother and I would get our costumes on and we would check to make sure we had everything we needed as if we were going on a secret mission. Running up and down the stairs of the projects in New York, knocking on doors, yelling, trick or treat, smell your feet, give me something good to eat. The smiles on our face when we heard the doors open because we knew some treats were getting ready to fill our bags. BB Bats, Squirrel Nuts, Charleston Chews, and Mary Janes, just to name a few. Every now and then we'd get a piece of fruit or a slice of cake. Hopping and skipping on to the next door for more treats. Then out of nowhere, here comes one of the older kids running by to snatch a bag. That no good son of a, oops, I forgot, I'm on the radio. Anyway, while trying to snatch one of our bags, he didn't see the sock we had filled with powder that whacked across his head. That will teach him about trying to snatch a bag from the Briggs boys. Another fun-filled night of snacks and candy even got to beat someone with our secret weapons. On our way home, we are eating some of our treats because we know Mama is not going to let us go to town with all that candy. Yeah, we were sneaky little devils. Well, as you know, with anything good comes a price. A few months later, it's time for our dental checkup. And what does the doctor find? Two cavities. Now that I think about it, I bet that dentist all over the world smile from ear to ear when Halloween comes around. I can't help but wonder if it was a dentist who came up with the, with the day of Halloween. Hmm.